Okay, this is Geo Fisher. A few years ago, I found this really cool area in Community Park for um, training for portages. So I figured I would show you guys what it is. I'm a little out of breath right now because I've been doing this for about 40 minutes, not 30 minutes. But I want to show it to you. First part is a little simple hill going down. Not too bad. But, um, gives you a, a pretty decent warm up to start with. I'm carrying a 30 pound day pack just to get an idea. First part of it, stairs going down. So, take some stairs. Let's get your heart rate going. Not too bad, but it actually gets it started a little bit. So, that's the first part. That's the easy part. Then, um, down at the bottom of the hill, it goes up at a decent incline, going back up while I just came down the stairs. So, I'll push it back up this little hill. I'm walking at a pretty brisk pace, keep my heart rate up. But, um, one of the things that folks want to do is try to get in some kind of reasonable shape and emulate what portages are like. This is all paved. But it does have a reasonable up and down incline. So it does give you a does give you a good idea of a portage. So up the portage I go. And um I do this. This is about, I don't know, thousand yards maybe total. And I do this ten times. So it gives me a real good workout. Takes about an hour to do. And I figure I do this every day for three weeks, and I'll be able to tackle my portages to McIntyre. Now I'm back to the same stairs I first started on. I head down those. You can hear I'm breathing a little heavy because it is kind of tough. It's not horribly tough, but it's all right. So I get down to the bottom of these, and then I head back up another kind of slope. But at the bottom of this slope, I get to another set of stairs. And those stairs, I go up. And then I come back down them, and then go back up them. And that's one full row. That's one full time around my track. And like I said, I'll do it 10, 10 times, and that ends up being about three and a half miles, four miles, which I think is a pretty good workout. Do that every day, who knows? So, I'm going to stop talking for a minute while I catch my breath. Getting ready to go up the next set of stairs. It's a nice little park. I'm doing this early in the morning. Actually, it's about 10 o'clock. It's about um, 60 degrees out here, so it makes it really nice. And here, I find the next set of stairs. So, on these stairs... They're pretty steep, you can see. And I'm just gonna push it up them. This is a uh, really good cardio workout too, I guess. I might start doing this all the time. It just seems to be a good way to stay in shape. <laughs> Reminds me of the uh, stairway portage, maybe the one going from Duncan to Rose. Maybe not so, so severe, but you get the idea. So with a 30-pound pack, this really, really gets your heart rate up. And I'll get to the top of this. And I'll take just a quick break. Go right back down it. And I'm breathing kind of heavy right now because it's kind of tough. It's a really, really tough, tough workout, especially when you haven't done anything all winter and you're leaving in three weeks. So I've got a trip going up through Mudrow up into McIntyre. Hopefully um, that works out for me. We uh, secured a method of getting our permits from Prairie the day before, 
and um, that should give us a quick start up to um, up the Echo Trail to Mudrow and then into our final destination of McIntyre, hopefully in one day. I'm at the bottom of the stairs. I'm going to go back up them. And at the top up here, that's the end of one round. So, like I said, I'll do this 10, 12 times. And um, right now, I'm really, really burning it. I can feel it in my legs. I can feel it in my shoulders. But um, I don't know of any other way of really trying to get in shape for a trip. This seems as about as good as anything. I think it emulates the portages quite well. And I'm back at the top. And that is my workout regimen that I'll be doing the next three weeks until I go to Quetico. See you guys later.